Limiting reactant limits the amount of product that can be formed. Reaction will stop when all the limiting reactant has been consumed. Excess reactant remains because there is nothing with which it can react. For example, if we had 8 car bodies and 48 tires, how many car combinations could we get? Think about which one is the limiting reactant and which one is in excess. We can form 8 cars and we would have 16 tires in excess. So the limiting reactant is the car bodies and the excess are the tires. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the salt mixture composition by knowing which is the limiting reactant. This is the molecular form of the equation. When we remove all spectator ions, this is the net ionic equation that forms. Barium phosphate is the precipitate that we will be observing. Make sure all the equations are balanced before doing any stoichiometric calculations. First, obtain all the necessary equipment. The unknown mixture will be assigned by your TA. Use weighing by difference to obtain the one gram of unknown mixture. A link to the video about weighing by difference is below. Add the one gram of unknown mixture to a 400 milliliter beaker. Then add 200 milliliters of water. Stir the solution for one minute. Moving over into the fume hood, make sure the beaker is covered with the watch glass. Turn on the hot plate and set the dial to 90 degrees. Heat the solution and 150 milliliters of distilled water in 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask for 30 minutes. If you're working in the ESCV building, make sure you turn the orange knob to turn on the vacuum pump. To set up the vacuum filtration apparatus, carefully place a retort stand in the fume hood. Attach a three-prong clamp to the bottom of the retort stand. Attach the vacuum filtration flask and secure the clamp around it. Make sure the flask is attached securely. Attach the orange tubing to the yellow vacuum tap. Then attach it to the vacuum flask. Twist to make sure it's on tightly. Assemble the Butchner funnel. Secure to the top of the vacuum flask tightly. Make sure the funnel opening is pointing away from the vacuum. Place the filter paper in the top of the Butchner funnel and wet the edges to create a seal. Turn the yellow knob all the way to the left to start vacuum suction. Turn off the hot plate. Take the solutions off to cool. Pour the solution into the funnel along a stir rod to collect all the precipitate. Rinse the beaker and the stir rod with distilled water to obtain the remaining precipitate. Disconnect the orange tubing from the yellow tap. Then remove the top of the funnel. Using a metal spatula, scoop the filter paper into a pre-weighed aluminum boat. Place the filter paper and aluminum boat in the oven. Heat between 30 to 45 minutes. Make sure you use an ungloved hand to open and close the oven. After the filter paper has cooled to room temperature, weigh it on the analytical balance. Collect the supernatant from the vacuum flask, then pour 20 milliliters into two test tubes. Use a graduated cylinder when transferring the 20 milliliters of supernatant. And use a pasture pipette to get the meniscus to the mark.
add two drops of 0.5 molar barium chloride into test tube one. Then add two drops of 0.5 molar sodium phosphate into test tube two. If test tube one forms the precipitate, then the phosphate ions are in excess and barium ions is in limiting. If test tube two forms the precipitate, then the barium ions is in excess and the phosphate ions are limiting. Make sure you record all quantitative and qualitative observations in your notebook.